Look at this air quality. New York City is going under a statewide emergency. Holy actual shit. Welcome to Manhattan. I'm going to a Pilates class this morning and it's my first time ever at the studio. Also, this is my first time working out with short hair so I didn't really know what to do to like put my hair away because I can't tie it up. So the reason why I'm wearing a mask is because New York City is going under a statewide emergency. We have the worst air quality in the world right now because of the Canadian wildfires. So the sky yesterday was fully pink, so hazy, and so it's best to wear a mask. Look how hazy it looks right now. Golka the Chai. My friends just opened up this new cafe, second location in Soho, which is so hard to do. So I'm so proud of them and I'm so excited to try it. They got their motto all over the floor, too. That's how you know it's the real deal. Y'all, look at this air quality. It's literally yellow and it smells like it smells like rusty tires. have a drink in your hand because I have a mask on because my head is hurting. It is wild out here. You can't even see the sky. It's so foggy. So after this Banksy exhibit that I reserved already, I reserved it yesterday. I didn't know it was going to be like this. After that, I have to go home because this is not safe at all. crazy that people on the reg experiences in third world countries and this is what we're experiencing now and we're you know having a headache and we're acting so sickly but this is like the normal life for so many people which is so sad 
So if you're coming to New York soon, don't. Global warming is also a scary thing considering this is just from a wildfire. Common casual accident in New York City. Finally home. So as you guys know, I have my own small business where I sell a lot of my art and apparel and I'm coming out with a collection after working on it for so many months and my photo shoot is actually coming up this weekend. So I'm prepping everything for the most part by myself. So what I thought I'd do is borrow a professional Canon camera from one of my close friends and now I'm going to just try it out. So right now, now that I'm home, I'm going to do a lot of like business prep, a lot of small business behind the scenes. As you can see behind me, it's a little sneak peek of the new collection and I'm really excited because this time around I'm transforming my whole apartment into my photo shoot backdrop and my friends are going to be the models and it's going to be a lot of fun but it's also going to be very professional compared to the other things that I've done in the past for my business and I'm just really really excited about this one because I put my blood sweat and tears into this. rebuilding my website from scratch right now and it's just so crazy how chat GBT is just such a big thing in our lives now because something that would take me hours to do in the past like making descriptions for the products you know the info on my homepage different things like that you can just put it onto chat GBT and it would do everything for you and it just cuts down the time like let me show you like there's this website obviously there are multiple websites you can just type something in what you want this website to compute it will literally give you a whole text so for example if i want to write something very simple can you write a detailed pitch to a skincare company and then it just computes everything obviously you have to edit it but ai is such a creepy and crazy thing now like look how wild that is this is a robot just making all these words that actually make sense She knew that I was gonna be busy with my collection and I haven't been wanting to cook and I just like don't have the time to make like nourishing meals so she gave me food for like almost a week or over that so all I have to do is just make my rice and my life is just so much easier also if you don't wash your rice like four times until the water is clear and you just put the whole rice in without cleaning it I'm questioning your morals officially 11 15 p.m. and I'm just done with my work that's the day in the life of being self-employed and being a business owner you think that just because you're your own boss and you make your own hours you're gonna have a more carefree life it's really not <laughs> the truth because you honestly work a lot more than a normal job you know you have a creative mind so you're always thinking of new ways to improve and you're just like oh since I make my own hours I can just work whenever I want and that can mean into the night before I go to sleep but I'm really grateful because you know this is something that I'm really passionate about so I would rather work a small business creative job like this than go back to 9 to 5 and a traditional job but now I'm gonna just clean up and I'm going to do my nightly reading I've been trying to hit 25 books this year, finish 25 books, and I'm only up to book like 13 or 14. I've been reading the same book for like the last two months because I've been so busy with traveling and my business and so many things like that. But I have to get back into routine and I want to finish this book today so I don't have to look at it anymore, so I can start a new one and so I can like feel fresh again, you know? So let's do that. <laughs> Bye. 
finally sleep in peace because it's been way too long that I've been reading this. It was a good book. The movie was really good too. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. It was a productive slash also like crazy of a whirlwind type of day. But I hope you liked the fun slash also productive side. But thank you again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 40,000 subscribers this year. And also make sure to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok where I post every single day. It's at labyrinthav. You'll see a lot more updates on my new collection and just New York City content and just content that fits for my style and check out my website labyrinthav.com where again my new collection is coming out and I'm really excited to bring you guys more behind the scenes with that and just show you what I've been working on for so many months and finally check out my podcast called Difficultish I have it with my partner and we talk about a lot of South Asian narratives and we are about to hit our 100th episode which is crazy and we're gonna do a New York City live show for that so stay tuned for that thank you again i love you guys and i'll see you next week